at-risk customers. These are management challenges. The movement of a great brand should always be dynamic, continually changing based upon evolving customer needs and competitive actions. The continued management challenge is to understand your customers. Every company has three types of customers. The first, loyalists. Loyalists are both completely satisfied and they believe that they are getting excellent value. Two, contented. Contented customers are either completely satisfied or think they are getting excellent value, but not both. And last, at-risk customers that are neither satisfied nor do they think they're getting sufficient value. The average company has 48% of its customers at risk. These are customers who are neither completely satisfied or feeling that they are getting excellent value. The next step in a value analysis study is to determine why. Why are customers at risk? The value analysis study will show you why your customers and those of your competitors are at risk. For example, a commercial printer found that 52% of his customers were at risk, mostly due to shortcomings in his sales force. This was easily corrected once we identified the problem. Looking back over all the at-risk analysis we have done, 90% of the issues that explain why customers are at risk are value issues. In other words, most companies do the basics pretty well or they wouldn't still be in business. But if you want to stop customers deflecting before it starts, learn where you don't measure up in accordance to what your customers value. Optimize customer value. In today's business, it's imperative to go beyond the basics and optimize customer value. Whether your customers are individuals or businesses, they want to optimize two scarce resources, time and money. Simply put, today there are too many things to spend our time and money on, and due to technology, the possibilities keep escalating. This means that customers want a lot more things than they can afford. This explains why customers say they are interested in buying a product, but then they don't. They weren't kidding, they really were interested, but then they didn't see enough value to make it a priority for their time or money. In other words, people spend their time and money first on necessities and second on what they value. The major business trend today is that customers are seeking more and more value for their time and money. Up next, setting your brand compass.